in life why do heartbreaks need to happen a lot of us we try our best na ayaw nating masaktan sa buhay tinatakbuhan natin ng problema kaya pag may pinagdadaanan naglalasing tayo or gumigimik or we do something else so that we don't need to deal with our problems but I tell you my dear friends we need to deal with our problems and marami rin tao iniisip nila po may problema sila they're less blessed they are less um, um, wonderful na parang malas yung buhay nila so I'm here to tell you na hindi po may problema ka wala kang kwenta or you know you have the worst life ever Hi, my name is Jaypal Hernandez and welcome to Life Talks. I want to tell you today that problems are important in life. Let me repeat. Problems are important in life. We um, go through problems not because um, pinagtitripan tayo ng Diyos or ng mundo, but because in everything, di ba, may season sa buhay. May season of summer, may season of spring, uh, fall, winter, and ganun din, lahat ng bagay, uh, minsan umiikot lang ang mga bagay-bagay. Let me tell you a story of mine. A few years ago, I started a business. I tried to do farming. Nag-resign na ako sa trabaho. My, I was employed. And, and I went to Mindanao to our family's farm to try to learn how to do farming. And guess what? Puro yabang lang ako pero wala akong sinabi. After a few months, kagulo-gulo, hindi natuloy. I went back to Manila. Uh, walang negosyo pero may isa akong dala-dala. Utang. May utang akong dala and it was really, really hard. It was a big struggle in life. And I just uh, just didn't know what to do. Why? Because may utang pero walang income equals problema. Uh, I was getting depressed. I was getting really stressed. And maybe some of you, if you are watching this video because of the coronavirus crisis or whatever crisis you are in your life right now, not not having income is a very big problem. And I just really was really stressed during that time. And you know, um, I realized through the years that that I can always relate problems to God. What do I mean? God does not give you pain. Or God does not give you, um, God does not allow evil for no reason. Friends, ito yun eh. God does not give you pain or God does not send evil to you to test you. Hindi, hindi masamang tao ang Diyos. Hindi siya nantitrip. Kasi marami ito nasabi nila, hindi, binigay ni Lord to for a reason. No, no. God does not give you the pain or God does not give you the problem. But, can you say but? Hindi pweta, but. But God allows pain to happen. God allows evil to happen. God allows something stressful to happen, not because He is mad at you. But God allows these things to happen for a purpose. But in your story, that all your struggle, all your pain, all your, your, your brokenness, that He will be able to reveal Himself in your life and and after the the cycle, the, the story na up, tas biglang down, that He will be glorified. And what do you need to do? You have to trust God. Ha, huh? J. Paul, why do I have to trust God na para i-glorify? Bakit? Selfish ba si Lord? Insecure si Lord? No, 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 no. Number one, God is not neither worship. God is not insecure. God, you know, is totally fine without us. But why do we need to glorify God? Very simple. Because as His created being, as His created child, we need to glorify God because we need to connect with God. Alam mo ang phone, pag ginamit mo ng matagal, wala low bat. And what you need? You need, to, you need to connect it to the power outlet. And then, pagka walang Wi-Fi, walang load, walang internet, walang data, it's almost useless limited siya. Ganun din tayo. Um, but the thing is, you know, God is the electricity, God is the signal, God is the data, God is the Wi-Fi. God is the, when, when, when we don't have God, we're, we're limited. But when we're connected to the source of life, nothing is impossible. When we are connected to Jesus, all the possibilities happen. So why do we need to glorify God with through our problems, through our pain, through, through our struggle, so that in, um, in, in, in the end, when we glorify God, we are connected to Him even more. And what is the reward? So, bro, anong reward nun? 
It's living in peace. There is living in peace, the joy, but there's a joy that only God can bring. So with that, I want to ask you, what is your biggest pain? What is your biggest struggle? What are the things in your life that caused you um, to cry, to lose hope? And these things, I want you to look back in your life. Di ba buhay ka pa? And since buhay ka pa, hindi pa tapos ang buhay mo. God has a plan for you. God has something exciting that He has purposed for your life. And your heart breaks, it has, it, they have made you stronger. So today, um, as we receive this Life Talks, I want you to just reflect. What are your pains in life? What are your struggles? What are the things that cost you uh, tears? Ask God, listen to God, and just say, Lord, what is your message for my life? What is your purpose for my life? Friends, I know that life is not easy, but I believe if you trust God, if you believe that God is sovereign, if you believe that God has the power to turn your life around, then nothing is impossible. With that being said, I repeat, offer your problems, offer your heartaches, offer your heartbreaks. Because, you know, when you glorify God through, you know, overcoming your pain and not being, you know, not, not failing, not falling, not faltering in your faith, something amazing is going to happen. Don't lose hope. Hold on to God and your heartbreaks will become healing and will become blessing. Thank you so much for receiving this Life Talks, whether in video or audio format. Um, I ask you to share it and tag people. And thank you for joining me today. God bless you. Have a great day. And see you again.